Oh, yeah. Just to start with, if your life is perfect, just go ahead and click off of this now and find another video. <laughs> I tend to read for people who are experiencing life problems. So if your life is great and you're just looking for your twin soul, move along to the next video, please. <laughs> Most people need to be reminded that this is a general reading for the masses. And unfortunately, I've seen too many people that are taking these readings so seriously and they're literally planning their lives and their life decisions around these free readings, which I do not recommend. If the reading resonates with you, great. If not, don't take it as that's your truth. We all have free will, okay? And not every single Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign are having the same exact experience. You're not all experiencing problems. You know, we're all on our own journey. And I tend to read for the people who are having problems in their lives. So I'm not the cookie cutting you know, let's make light out of every single thing type of tarot reader, okay? <laughs> this is more for the people who are going through some shit. Pardon my French, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm reading for the people who truly need help. You know, and even those people who need help and are stuck in a rut and that can't afford a personal reading. Even though a personal reading will always be far more accurate than a general reading for the masses. Okay, I will end my epic rant there because I'm going to do a PSA video. It's, it's come to this point, so. Okay, it is about you, Leo, so I'm going to shut up. <laughs> so, for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, we have Six of Cups. So... This is a wonderful energy. This is the energy of coming into contact with those from our past. This could be siblings. This could be cousins. This could be an old lover. This could be an old friend. You know, this could be someone from your past that you knew for a very long time, that you had a connection with. Now, for some of you, this could be indicating that you could be looking back on your past and you might be feeling a bit nostalgic. And for some of you, this is going to bring an opportunity. And this opportunity would come from someone that's, you know, got ties to your past. Now, to clarify, this is not great. We have Five of Swords. I cannot remember. One of the free readings I already did had Five of Swords as the first clarifying card as well. <sighs> Anyhow, again, this is not the best energy. This card I refer to as the... <laughs> The asshole is just spoiling for a fight. Again, pardon my French, but, you know, it's just my mouth. It's who I am. <laughs> I can't filter myself. If I do, then it just messes it up. So, anyhow, this is someone that has a great desire to start conflict. Now, this could be your energy, or someone could have done this to you and it's making you feel this particular way so with the five of swords this is someone who is definitely looking for a fight so someone could have been literally starting an argument with you or you could be starting arguments with someone else could be someone from the past or someone from the past could be trying to start problems for you now with the five of swords a lot of times deception is involved, so do be on the lookout for that. It is not the type of news I want to deliver, but I just read the cards as they come out. 
I can't specially pick the cards or that wouldn't be fair. <laughs> it wouldn't be accurate. So someone is definitely causing some sort of problems for you or you could be causing problems for someone else. Now, you may have your reasons. They may have their reasons. But either way, there is definitely a cruelness with this particular energy. A lot of times this can indicate a forceful severing of ties. So, you know, hence a breakup, you know, and it's done in a forceful type of manner where it's like there's just absolutely no regard for one's feelings. And so this would definitely be with someone from your that has ties to your past. This could be a sibling, could be a cousin, you know, could be an old friend. It could be, you know, so, you know, a lover. Maybe you have been in a relationship with someone since you were, you know, a teenager or something. But, you know, it doesn't have to go back that far, but it would be, this is definitely indicating is someone that you've known for a while or someone that has ties say, to your hometown. Now, a severing of ties. It can be an unfair application of power where one is forced to have to deal with it. You know, so again, you could be on the receiving end or the giving end of this energy. It's really not the best energy. I, I apologize. Especially for those of you who are going through this and you are on the receiving end of this energy. Perhaps you've had someone sever ties with you and they did so in a, in a very nasty way. This can also indicate literal theft as well. You know, and that theft could be, you know, of actual money, you know, material possessions. But this can also be the theft of your time, your energy, your love, you know. Someone taking you for granted, you know, so it can be interpreted in many different ways. But you need to realize that there is definitely a sense of, I just don't care. And this breaks my heart for you guys, because this is not the type of energy that I would want anybody to have to be feeling or to be going through. You know, a lot of hurt feelings here, you know, and it's got ties to the past. So, yeah, I mean, if you're offered an opportunity from someone in your past, you definitely may want to pay attention, especially if there happens to be any red flags. Mm. Okay, so this would be your circumstances. So we have the King of Cups in the reverse position. So... This would definitely indicate that something has taken place that has emotionally provoked you and you may feel out of balance. And typically the emotions are overriding the intellect during something such as this. So the King of Cups, when he's in the reverse, and you know, yes, it says King, it can be male, female. Or this can just be about your energy in general. But a lot of times with this particular card in the reverse, something has occurred. You know, this could have taken place in your home life. This can be taking place even at your, your job. But things can be how emotionally volatile you know some emotionally volatile type of situation has definitely got you feeling a bit moody you may even be wanting to detach and just withdraw and be left alone so there's definitely something that has occurred that it's got you upset and you don't really want to express your feelings right now you just kind of want to be left alone. But the thing here is, is the King of Cups in reverse. This energy wants you to rise up and face this emotional issue with maturity and wisdom. 
But then, you know, it's like, I just don't want to, you know, just let me go sulk, you know, alone, leave me alone. So you guys may be feeling like you need some space to breathe so that you can just get your emotions and your head together. And it's okay to do that for a little while. Just don't get stuck too long in there, okay? You don't want to turn yourself into a hermit. <laughs> This too shall pass. Now to clarify, we have the death card. So for most of you, you've probably seen the the end of something. This could be the end of a relationship. It could be a marriage. You know, it could be a romantic relationship or it could be a platonic relationship. It could be a job situation. It could be many different things. But there is some sort of ending that emotionally provoked you and it's got you feeling a bit moody and wanting to withdraw and detach it's like you're very emotional but you just don't know how to express your emotions without them being perceived as absolutely negative by others right now so you just want to be left alone but it is all caused by an ending that occurred. Something came to an end. Something came to a close. And it upset you greatly. And it's causing emotional issues. And my best advice here is, is whatever came to an end, as hard as it may be, do your best to just let it go. Because... The harder that, that you try to fight and to cling on to it, it just makes it so much harder. It's an inevitable change. And a lot of times for most people, it is necessary. Now, for a few rare people out there, this could be indicating that you may have actually lost someone through a physical death. And if that is you, then you will know it's you. And I send you my deepest condolences and prayers I really do my heart goes out to you now if you're watching this reading and no you haven't lost anyone then please do not assume that you're going to lose someone okay because given this card position it shows it's something that has already happened okay all right just want to be clear so here we have our focus card. We have the two of swords in the reverse position. So it seems that you guys had a decision to make. And some of you could have experienced a bit of indecision in trying to make a, a choice between, you know, a few different options, a few different paths, you know, whatever it may be. You could have had to have chosen out of you know two different people or two different jobs or you know five different jobs whatever it may be there there was a choice that needed to be made and you may have been a, feeling a bit indecisive about which way to go now that it's in the reverse position you've made a choice okay the choice has been made and you're following through on it so to clarify, I got the Two of Swords in reverse yet again. So to me, that just drives home the fact that, yes, the decision has been made, but I bet you guys had to deal with a, a lot of indecision. And some of you are probably still wondering, did I make the right choice? So I went ahead and clarified yet again, and I got the Justice card. So just like Libra... Because the Two of Swords is Libra. It's Moon and Libra. And the Justice card is ruled by Libra. So I take this as to the point. Let's weigh the options out. What are the pros and the cons of each choice? Choose what is best for you and know that you made the right choice. Do pick the choice that you know is the right choice. Thing, okay choose what you know is right and again if you still may be feeling like you don't know if you made the right decision you know maybe go back and think on it 
weigh the pros and cons. Even though the decision's already been made, you can still look at it from that point of view and weigh the pros and cons. But just make sure you pick the right thing for the right reasons and picking the thing that will actually bring you some justice. You know, this could be personal justice. This could be about justice, you know, within the law. You know, this can be interpreted about a hundred different ways because we, we're all on our own journey here. So, but again, just choose what you know is the right thing for you because only you can do that. And only you know what's best for you. Okay, so this is the card of your recent past or the energy that is passing. And here we have the Queen of Cups. So some of you could have been dealing with a woman, but it doesn't have to be. You could have been dealing with a woman or a man, or we could just be dealing with the overall energy of Queen of Cups. Now the Queen of Cups, she tends to... Think more with her intuition rather than with her logic and her intellect. So she's she's a feeler. She's the one who wants to get to the bottom. She wants to understand things from the deepest emotional level possible. We could call her a Scorpio. That may resonate for some of you. But, you know, also Cups, so... Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or again, we could just be dealing with the overall energy. But the Queen of Cups, she is one who likes to nurture, especially one who nurtures on an emotional level. So maybe some of you have been craving that emotional nurturing. Maybe you guys were seeking it out. Or maybe some of you guys were giving, you know, emotional nurturing to others. We clarify and we have the King of Swords. So from the emotions on cups to the air element of intellect. So the King of Swords, this can be a lawyer, this can be a judge, prosecutor, you know, someone within the courts, someone who makes decisions now the king of swords since he's in the upright position he he will come to a fair decision perhaps maybe you guys were weighing things out because the king of swords he will literally just like the two of swords reversed and the justice he's going to take both sides of an issue and he's going to weigh the pros and the cons. He's going to take into consideration the positives and the negatives of each side, of each person, of each decision, whatever it may be. And he's going to come to a fair and honorable conclusion. And when it's the King of Swords, he's very analytical. Very analytical. And he takes his time. He's very deliberate in making his decision he makes sure that he comes to a fair conclusion a fair decision and so some of you could have been making a decision well clearly you guys are making a decision but perhaps maybe your decision has been about someone in your life or maybe some of you have wrestled with the decision of you know should i continue to be the emotional nurturer or should I be done with it and move on and for some of you this could be indicating that perhaps some of you could have been in the court system some of you could have five of swords can definitely indicate being in court as well but the king of swords at least he's in the upright position so if this is say perhaps a judge maybe or a lawyer that you've come into contact with being in the upright position shows that you know they are honorable so that is good at least they're not corrupt 